All right, now to finish out the uh, program today, the White House taking aim at lawmakers who are slamming the administration for marking Transgender Day of Visibility on Easter Sunday. Our next guest says she is absolutely disgusted by the move. Let's bring in Caitlyn Jenner, Olympic gold decathlon winner and a Fox News contributor. Caitlyn, in the past, you have celebrated Transgender Vis Day of Visibility, but this year you're saying they shouldn't have done it on Easter or shouldn't have promoted it. Which, uh, what's, what's, what's your concern? Uh, well, my only concern, and first of all, uh, the transgender day of visibility is fine. I have used mm -hmm. it in the past. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Trans people are okay. My number one problem with this whole thing is this proclamation. <clears throat> uh, President Biden uh, never should have done it. To be honest with you, if he just said nothing, he would have been fine. But I firmly believe that the left, they constantly look at the media and how they can manipulate things. And it's a shame. I mean, here Joe Biden's supposed to be um, a devout Christian, a devout Catholic. And to be honest with you, what he did is really flip the middle finger at all people of religion. Even the D.C. Uh, archbishop um, on uh, this weekend on Face the Nation called him a cafeteria mm. Catholic, meaning he uses religion when it's uh, convenient for him, and that's exactly what he did. And it's just a shame. This is really about, again, the Democrats, the left, destroying the family structure, um, destroying religion. I mean, look at they, you know, took the religious symbols off the Easter eggs yeah. in the White House um, Easter egg hunt. It's just all about trying to destroy um, religion. And what do they want? They want the religion to be government. Uh, so it's just, it's a shame that the trans community is being used like this. We, we've just got 30 seconds left, but a spokesman for the White House said that uh, this such, you know, going against this is cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. By association, he's basically saying what you're saying is cruel, hateful, and, and dishonest, which, which I find quite ironic. Uh, it, it is not. I am 100 percent for the trans community. It's dishonest what President Biden is doing and his proclamation. All right. Caitlin, great to catch up with you. Sorry we were cut short by the breaking news. We'll see you again soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.